Hello everyone, it's Nolan from Benchmark and today I'm going to show you how to set up your S321 receiver as a base. So first we're going to move over to our Equip tab. Once there we're going to select the GPS Base tab, the second option. Once inside we're going to make sure of two things, that our manufacturer is set as Hemisphere GNSS and that our model is set as the S321. Once we've done that, we're going to move over to the Comms tab. If you've already connected your device previously with Bluetooth, it should appear under this device dropdown. We're going to select the receiver we are using as the base. In this case, mine is number 80. This number here is indicative of your serial number that is found on the bottom of the receiver. Once that's complete, we're going to hit this plug button here at the top to ensure we're connected with Bluetooth. If your device does not appear in the dropdown, you're going to use the wrench and hammer button next to the Windows Mobile uh, Bluetooth type in order to find and connect to your receiver. Next, we're going to move over to our Receiver tab, where we're going to make sure of a couple things. We're going to make sure that we have Hemisphere S321 is set as the antenna from the drop-down. We're going to make sure that our antenna height is set as the distance from the bottom of our receiver to the ground. In this case, mine is one and a half feet. Next, we're going to move into the Advanced tab. We're going to make sure that all our constellations are checked to ensure that we get the greatest accuracy from the receiver. So in this case, I'm using SBAS. Beidou, GLONASS, and Galileo, the new constellation that's just been added. Once that's complete and all have been checkmarked, we're going to leave this screen by hitting the green checkmark. We are then going to move over into the RTK tab where we will make sure of a couple things. First, we're going to make sure that we have the device set as the internal UHF, which is the internal radio found in the receiver, and the message type is selected as ROCKS from the drop down down here. Next, we're going to hit the wrench and hammer button next to the device in order to find out what settings our radio is on. Once inside, we're going to make sure of a couple things. First, we're going to make sure that we have one watt selected as the power setting. This will ensure you get the greatest range out of your receiver and is very important if you want to push the limits of the receiver. Next, we're going to go to the channel drop-down and select what channel we'll be using for today. You will ensure that your rover is on the same frequency channel as your base, otherwise your rover will not receive corrections from your base. So in this case, I'm using channel 3 on my base. I'm then going to hit check mark in order to save those configurations to the device. And once that is complete, I'm going to hit the green check mark at the top of the screen to leave this area. This will take us to the base configuration screen. Once here, we're going to hit read from GPS, where I'm going to select by number, and I'm going to do it 10 times. So this will take 10 readings that SERVC will then average and will select as the point that your base is sitting over. If you need to stop this or you think you have enough points already, you can hit stop averaging and score. And once this is complete, we're going to hit continue with base setup, yes. So once this is finished, we're going to hit save settings to file, yes. This will allow us to use this exact point again if we set our base up over top of it again. That's all for today folks and if you need any help or have any questions you can reach us at 1-888-286-3204 or you can find us online at www.bench-mark.ca. Thank you.